Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. This is Experience Points, and here we are, back again with another Let's Play for the Unity of Command Red Turn, the Road to Berlin. And here we are going to be going to Second Asasi Kishmavev. Who knows? But we're going there anyway. And let's see what uh, marvelous things await us. We've only got one more mission on this uh, southern branch, which is quite exciting. Then I do believe I'm going to have a look at uh, Leningrad. Okay. So, what have we got here? Well, yeah, let's just have an overview of the map. So, your supplies. Um, along the road, you have an 8, and it's important to note that you can push really far in. Uh, with your attacks over here and still being supplied. So this is a six, five, four, three, two, one. So you're going to take the objective without having to worry about supply. Uh, over here, it's a greater issue because you will get chopped off at the um, at the forest. So it's very important that you take your supply route and you actually take this area here. Uh, the Axis have one supply, um, which if you take the southern objective, you're able to uh, quickly cut them off. So we have an objective one turn, which is very easy to take, a three turn, and a three turn. So let's get to it. Start by um, be, uh, by attacking the um, the weak Romanian infantry unit here, and you want to force your way into the city. If you push your southern army units, you'll be able to get pretty far down, because um, you want to be able to really push towards this objective down here. Um, but you won't be able to really make it through the forest because of the um, the movement penalties. So trying to always get your units around here and to clean out this area here um, is a good idea. Okay. Next we're just using our uh, units with our specialist steps to try to remove these Romanian troops. And your horsemen are quite strong and they have T-34s and they're veterans. So they're going to be able to take a lot of land because I'll be able to dish out a lot of damage here. Okay, now we um, should take note that this area is likely to be, or these particular units here are likely to be attacked, um, and uh, certainly it's a tempting target because these units in the past have tried to push up here. So I move these units here to uh, discourage any attempt at trying to get my supply source. Okay, so airstrike this unit here so you can try to get across the bridge. Uh, if you can actually outdo the area zone of control, there's a possibility you can take the first objective um, in one turn, or at least very close to it. Because these units can go seven steps, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it, it's close. Um, also make sure that you have a supply chain down here and you keep the bridges covered by a unit they won't be able to attack because of the uh, defense bonus there is one weak unit which is here um, and if you keep weighing into this one unit you may be able to um, at least cause a, a bit of threat there to their line and they will try to push back so really this is more of a distraction up here in the north so we do want to definitely make sure that this unit here doesn't sneak up. So keeping your supply covered uh, is a great idea. It shouldn't be much concern about them attacking the objective as uh, the penalty is extremely high. Uh, you're in a city, you're across a river, uh, and you have your artillery, so that's at least a six bonus um, to that unit. As the units attempt to push south, there's no real threat. Um, we'll be able to link up our supply line in the next turn. And so all we're really doing here is just uh, waiting for them to go to their inevitable death. And as you can see here, they're pretty much out of supply uh -huh. in uh, some particular areas here. So. Uh, they are wise to move. They're not going to cause any real hassle here. The only 
point to note would be the airstrikes can't be done with this whack unit uh, in any hexagon around it. So uh, if I wanted to use airstrikes around here, I'm going to have to uh, remove this unit. Or at least suppress the special step. Okay, now push your units out south. You need to keep pushing. It's very uh, important to keep that intensity up there. And we just need to deal with these units over here. It shouldn't be much of a hassle. As long as we can keep the road covered, um, we shouldn't have too much of an issue. And keeping your horsemen um, in particularly vulnerable areas is a great idea because they're unlikely to be overrun. Oh, that was really costly, but anyway. And keeping your horsemen in the south means that they have a good chance at getting rid of some zones of control under the enemy hold so you can move your tanks towards the uh, objective. Okay. Well, this is mostly just a uh, keep some units, keep your line um, strong, but really just a bit of a threat. You're not going to push these units up. You're more to draw off units um, from your southern objective. Okay, you did, uh, yeah, I should point out that you'd bring this unit across um, in the previous turn. Uh, sometimes it is better to actually attack with your special step across a river as opposed to moving across the river losing your special step. But um, just about keeping that, uh, that thread up. Okay, now you just want to uh, carve a path through. As you see, I brought the infantry up because this one unit was going to be destroyed and I had my armor to get uh, particularly closer to that objective. Okay. Now just keeping that back supply. Um, as you see, it would have been a better choice for me, as an example here, to attack across the river with artillery. And I'm keeping a unit here so they can't cut off my supply. If it is possible to stop their um, to put a unit here uh, in the previous turn, that's a great idea because you can stop anyone from um, trying to sneak across. But as it looks at the moment, I'm actually probably going to be able to bring my um, my army units to bear across the river, as this won't be a particularly challenging encounter. I could probably even take this with uh, artillery units. Just my uh, Soviet infantry. Oh, well, I feel like they're trying to resupply on the river, but uh, no dice. Okay, bringing our back units forward to see what we can do about supply, um, about get ridding, getting rid of these uh, zones of control the enemy hold. And here we go, one objective. And just because we can, we use an airstrike, attacking across a river, and easy peasy. So, it uh, wasn't overly difficult. Uh, it can be a bit of a, a, sh a hassle down here, but if you uh, aggressively attack, it's not too difficult. So, what you want to do is to get rid of this unit. Push your tanks as far down as you can, have your infantry holding the line and keeping the unit back here, and then keep pushing down in a single uh, spearhead column to take this unit. Over here, um, destroy this unit, um, bring something into the city, and then use your armor to clean out these units here. And in your next turn, you want to be looking at taking over here, so you have the uh, distance to be able to come down here. Uh, try to smash out these units and your uh, T-34s uh, special steps on your cavalry are great for being, being able to hold. Um, make sure you put an extra unit up here to discourage them from smashing through. And then you want to hold this supply so that your units down here can be supplied. And that's how it's done. Well, this has been Experience Points. I hope you've gained some experience from uh, watching this. And uh, have a good one.